This video was brought to you by LogRocket, the front-end performance monitor that records videos of user sessions along with logs and network data, surfacing problems and revealing the root cause of every bug. Try it today at LogRocket.com slash YT. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atava here. I'm a programmer and a content creator. So this is my first video on LogRocket. So today we are going to see how React Native navigation works. So we, are, we will be working with Expo to keep things simpler you can always use react native bell cli but uh, for this video i would prefer expo so if you don't have expo already installed you can just do it by using sudo npm install dash g so that we install expo cli globally and then we use expo cli now i already have this installed so i won't install it again but you need to install it if you are doing this for the first time also if you are on windows you don't need that sudo thing it's only for Linux and Mac user and I'm on the Mac OS right now. So, okay, I already have it installed. So when you already install Expo, then you can just go into Expo in it and then you enter your project name. For, for now, I will just use React Native Navigation YouTube. I just hit enter and now it will ask me some questions. So here are a lot of options. I need to use blank because I'm not going to work with TypeScript in this video. So let, now this will take some time depending on your system, but usually it's not that slow. So you just need to wait for it. So this is done. Now you can just go into the folders, CDR and navigation YT, and you can give it any name you want. So I'll just go ahead and do code inside us dot and if you have if you use visual studio code you might have this command and it you might just have code dot i'm using the insiders version it's like the beta version of code so i am using code insiders dot now it will open up code for me now i'll just do it full screen now you see the little pop-up here right just just click on yes i trust it doesn't matter now i'll just hit command j to open up the terminal i'll use command slash to bring up two split terminals and now I need to install some packages for this to work so here are the list of packages I'll just paste it here I don't know if you can see this right just see these packages um, and uh, you can just pause and look at them these are the packages needed for this video we will be installing react native navigation we'll be using react native screens and safe area contacts and all of that stuff so just after you install this i'll just hit enter and it will install the packages it's already installing yeah so now when you go to app.js go to the app.js and now you can start working on this let's just clean up the things we don't require first of all we don't require this just clean this up we don't require any style sheet for this video so just remove this and now what we are going to do is we are going to import navigation container so instead of typing all of that, I'll just copy paste it here. You can just port it because auto import for some reason doesn't work on this thing. So yeah, now you need to do navigation container. Now here, this is uh, for now, we'll just leave this empty. We will eventually have a stack navigator. So we'll just create a new component, which is stack navigator.js. we will do rnfes no rnfe and now we will save that and now we will include this here so we'll do stack navigator and we will leave it here now just uh, go back here we need to use a function from this react native native stack so we'll just import that function right now so here's the function create native stack navigator this will make things a lot of lot easier for us and now we need a stack so that everything is just managed inside our app so i will just explain you how stacks work so if i just go into this yeah so now imagine your your app is like this is your app okay and now this is your first screen I just go ahead and write here first screen then you decide that you want to give the option you want to make a button so that the user can go to the second screen 
Now after clicking that button, your user goes into the second screen. Now this is below this. And then you can of, of course go into more screens if you want. And now the magic here comes is that when you press back, so imagine if you're here and you natively press back, you go back to this screen. From here you go back to this screen. And from here you go back to this screen. That that pretty much duplicates the concept of stacks, you know. So that's why I love this library because you don't need to keep history everywhere. You can just use go back or use native back function keys or anything and it will just do it do, do the work. You don't need to do anything in here. So now what we need to do is first we need to create a navigator. So how we do that is we do stack dot navigator and we need screen options here. So here we can here we have a lot of options we can choose from. So let me sh show you now here you can control space and you can see there are a lot of options. But for now we need the header shown option. Oh no. So for now I just set it to false so that things might just look good in our app. But we will eventually set it to true to see how things work. So don't worry about that. So we'll just close this thing. And now here we will have a lot of things. So in this video we will be covering screens and models. So models are just those things which pop up in your application when you do an action. So our first group will be of our screens. So stack.group. And now here we will it's a normal screen so we don't need to pass any parameters here but even in the model section we will so just stay tuned for that now we'll do stack dot screen representing that this is an actual screen and we need to give it a name so i just give it a home and we did edge capital because it shows it shows the name in the title bar so yeah remember that and now we will just do a component now we need to pass in the react component here so for now we don't have any so just go ahead and make a new folder called screens i'll just make a new file home.js and here i will do rnfe and instead of area view i need safe area view from react native so yeah and we will just say this is home for now and when we do it here, we'll just do control space to auto import it. Cool. Now, this is the first screen of the app, so it will always show first. So for now, let's try to run this app. We'll do expo start, or if you can also do npm start if you want, both work the same. We will do npm start. Now it will open up the Metro bundler after you see that you need to open your emulator so for now I will, i'll just use ios simulator so my simulator will be opening in just a moment now that once the simulator is open let's just resize this thing now i'll just go ahead here and in our terminal and i will just press i now this will open this on ios okay so application is open and surpri surprisingly we don't see anything and i know why if you go to app.js okay this is here we go back here and we didn't save this and okay now you see this is home and the status bar is white sometimes it happens so just go back to app.js and we will do status bar status bar style dark and then it will change to black i mean i, I never saw this issue happen to anyone before this just happened to me okay so now this is working and this is the first screen as you see this is the first screen any screen you mention after this will not be the first screen so now let's make another screen. We will say it a second screen. So stack dot screen name. We will call it second screen. And component will be now a component name will be second. Just make it simple. Now let's actually make the components. So we will go in screens. We will add a new file. We'll call it second.js. We will do RNFE. We will use safe area view. And I'll just import it. And I'll just say this is the second screen. Now if now 
you can't just access the second screen right from here okay we also need to import it i just forgot now if we import this now you can't just go to that screen like this we need some action so you can create a button which actually helps you to go that screen so let's go back to our form.js and we need a hook so we will say const navigation is equal to use navigation and this is from react native react navigation slash native so this is a hook and now through this object we can do a lot of things so let me show you here we will make a button make sure i import from the right place and here i'll have an on press which will perform a function which is basically navigation dot navigate and here we provide the name of our route so basically if we go back to a stack navigator you can see there's a name here so we need, just need to provide the name so here our name is i guess it was second screen yeah why not just rename it to second it will be a lot easier we will just do second and now we need to provide a title so the button must have a title go to second screen and now we will close this now you, you should see this button pop up and when you click it you will go back to second screen i am not sure if you could see the animation but uh, when you press go to second screen it, it it slides the second screen to the left it's like a perfectly smooth animation just like in native ios applications so yeah it, this is some pretty cool stuff and now uh, we can just uh, try to make a model so first let's first make a new file we'll call it model.js we will do rnfe we will use safe area view so that it doesn't mess with our notch so, okay now we'll use this is a model and now we will go back to our stack navigator and we'll now here this is some cool stuff now here we will use a new stack group so if you see this is a stack group had only screens had basic screens now you want models you can create another stack groups only for models so this is the power of react navigation so we will use stack dot group and here we will use green options so again here you have a lot of things and here i want presentation i need model now you see you had a lot of things here so you can have transparent model as well for, but for this episode i'll just do model and here we need to provide a component so component now this is a stack group right we don't need to provide a component here now we'll just go ahead and use this thing we'll just copy this and we'll paste this here and make some changes here so we need the screen name as model and we want the component as model we'll just pass in the model good now we will go back to a second screen and we will just make a new button so that the model pops up now we'll go back here and we'll say button button on press ah we need to import it okay on press and this will perform a function which will be navigation so we need to bring in navigation so const navigation is equal to use navigation this is a hook so yeah navigation dot navigate and we will say model go to model and now we need to give it a title so we'll give it a title as open model and we just close this now let's test it out if we go back to a second screen if we press open model we have we have this beautiful model see this thing on completely black that's the power of models and it completely looks native if you use native ios applications you know how this works 
and i guess this might be a good thing for android i don't know about android but i guess this works in a similar way now here's the thing um, if you don't want to make a custom header for your components you can just go ahead in your stack navigator and you can just say header shown is equal is true now when you do this you have this native ios headers which will make it even easier to navigate but i guess if you are making a production level application you might have your own headers so go to second screen open model so you see everything has titles so there are a lot more things in react native navigation this is just the starting and i i i think you guys should do the research on the react native navigation site and the, there will be a lot of new things you can learn from that so uh, i will leave this code in a github repository and the link will be in the description so go check it out and thanks for following till the end thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed the tutorial you can see the full tutorial in our blog post linked in the description below and if you want to see more videos and tutorials like this make sure to subscribe hit that like button and leave a comment in the comment section below you can also find more tutorials and videos we've already posted on our YouTube page.